Intel under pressure once again because another key technology player wants to make its own chips. They want to make their own chips for servers and for their own computers. And this time, it's not Apple, but it's Microsoft and Intel getting cut out of that pie where they're going to be using ARM Holdings design chips. So it helps ARM and, of course, NVIDIA that's buying ARM. But Remain, Kaylee, this feels like such a trend that's moving. And Remain, what do you make of like the, the sell-off that we're seeing in Intel shares? Yeah, I mean, look, I, this is kind of uh, understood that when you saw Apple make this move, uh, you sort of harkened back to that time when Intel really had to make a decision about whether it really wanted to sort of uh, really make these chips for these mobile devices. Intel decided to really sort of bank its future more on, you know, the PCs and the other types of more hard devices, servers and things like that. And it really pushed these companies to start thinking, how can we figure this out ourselves? Apple figured it out and apparently Microsoft thinks it's figured it out now too. Yeah, and it's not really working out for Intel, is it, Romain? The shares are down 6% as we head into the close. It's off more than 20% this year. It's like the fifth yeah. worst performing stock on the NASDAQ 100 this year. I mean, Intel, as Caroline said, literally cannot catch a break. Yeah, and then don't forget, you still got AMD nipping at their heels. Of course, that big uh, acquisition was Xilinx. So uh, Intel will be interesting. Uh, this is going to be a big uh, story stock uh, in 2021. The direction, uh, who knows?